Hi, I'm David Casimir. I'm one of the gentlemen that take care of the organ here at St. Peter's Church here in Ladue. My colleague Patrick Fisher and I have been here the last few days uh, helping uh, tune up this beautiful organ by Mander and Company, made in London, England. Hard to believe this, in uh, the year 2001. It's 20 years old. Uh, in the course of the life of a fine organ uh, and, and in our own lives, we need moments where we just need a good going over and uh, uh, tune up. And uh, what we have done in the last few days is uh, physically adjust the tuning parameters of all 2,979 or so pipes in the organ. Um, to unify pitch uh, uh, that's based around the temperature of the church. Uh, it's a rather intensive process. Uh, I think it's G. These pipes are made of alloys of lead and tin, um, and they are tuned in the old style, which is a cone-tuned top. So you'll see various uh, graduated brass cones that he uses to just mold over the top or flare out the top, and that changes the pitch in very subtle ways. Um, uh, I'm the guy holding the keys, literally, to make it all happen and, and uh, wait for him to tell me to go on to the next note. But uh, it's a fairly intensive listening process and uh, takes, takes a lot of care and time to put in order. Next. So I'm standing at the level of the organ that has uh, the pipes from the bottom and the middle keyboards. Um, the middle keyboard being the great organ, uh, where the which of these pipes in front of me, and the bottom keyboard, the positive, um, which are on this chest here in the front. And uh, what you can see from this angle are the two types of tuning devices um, on the flue pipes, the flue pipes being those that work like a recorder. Uh, and one is, uh, there's a scroll at the top here, it's like an old-fashioned tuna fish can. Um, so you can roll it up or down, you're effectively changing the length of the pipe, which makes it go flat, you can make it longer or sharp, or shorter. Uh, this instrument by Mander, uh, it's a beautiful organ. Uh, uh, I think it uh, embodies the best of uh, the, the English tradition, uh, which is an instrument that serves the liturgy first and foremost, so the, the great support of hymn singing, uh, but in, in the uh, unique tradition of the Anglican Communion and in this church, the Episcopal Church, um, it's a wonderful vehicle for supporting uh, choral accompaniments. Uh, so there's a lot of uh, color that can be brought in to change uh, uh, the support of uh, the compositions that have choir and organ. Um, very subtle, beautiful stops on the organ. It's a, it's a really charming instrument that fills this beautiful space perfectly. Uh, it, it can uh, really sing forth when you need a you know, good barn burning, <laughs> rousing Anglican hymn, but it can also be very subtle and beautiful. And uh, it's a great joy always to come back here and help keep this beautiful instrument in good working order. Next. Future work that will happen as we go forward with this organ's life to its 25th anniversary will mean that we take it all apart, literally, and, and clean all the pipe work. Uh, you know, it's kind of like cleaning out the attic. You should do it once every <laughs> generation or so, uh, and uh, that, that'll be something to look forward to. Next. If you see me. 
The best part of coming to Ledoux is, of course, getting to go to lunch at Sugar Fire. And of course, we have had the white barbecue sauce, which is everything, so. Next. <laughs>